Hey everyone, welcome back to Learn with Maktu. In this video, we will continue with second standard EVS. In the last video of EVS, we have finished the lesson number 7. Today, we will continue with lesson number 8. That is Organ Health. Hope you remember in the first standard, you have studied about the different parts of our body. So, the different parts of our body, we call them as organ. Okay? So in here in this chapter also we will identify the different parts of our body and also we will learn about their work. Okay. And also we will know the need of personal cleanliness for good health. So kids, you can stand in front of a mirror and you can identify the different parts of our body. The same way here they have given in a box a picture of a boy. Yes. So here you can identify the parts. The first part is head, eyes, nose, mouth, neck, hand, finger, leg, toes. So like that we have stomach, yes, and ear. All these are different parts of our body. Okay. Now, here there are some pictures given. Okay, we have to mention which part of our body is used in these works. Okay, so in the first picture, what is happening? In the first picture, a girl is running. So to run, we need legs. Yes, and in the second picture, what is happening? A boy is smelling the flower. To smell, we need nose. And here, a boy is decorating the house using hands. And the girl is listening to music. To listen, we need ear. Okay. Now, a girl is singing. To sing, we need mouth. Then a boy is watching at the sky. So, to watch, we need eyes. Okay. Now, kids, we have some riddles. We have to solve them. I am black, but not a crow. I am white, but not butter. I have water, but not a well. I have lids, but not a vessel. Who am I? Here the diagram given, it is I. Yes? So kids, eyes help us to see the things. We should avoid dust from getting into our eyes. And we should not rub the eyes when the dust falls into it. We should show it to our elders. Okay? Now kids, I have... Two holes, I help you smell. Without me, you cannot breathe. Who am I? Nose. Okay. Dust enters our nose when we walk outside. Hence, clean your nose every day. Don't put sticks or pencils into the nose. You need me to talk. You need me to eat. Without me, you cannot even laugh. Who am I? Mouth. Yes. Clean the mouth with water as soon as you get up in the morning. Before and after every meal. In a little crooked well, without any water though, I am always there to help you listen to a lesson or a song. Inserting sticks or chalk piece will only hurt you definitely. So what is this part? It is ear. Don't put sticks, crayons, pencils, sharp things etc. into the ear. It is harmful. Okay. To write, hold, show and give, you need my help and ever will. You cannot take a morsel though to your mouth without my will. Which is this part? Hand. Yes. So there are fingers in a hand. Observe their shape. Know the names of five fingers. Cut your nails once a week. Wash your hands before and after eating. Jumping, skipping, running and hopping. I take you to the school for sure. I help you work and also play. You dance and learn because I am there. It is leg. There are toes in our legs. Observe that the shape of the fingers and toes are different. 
Is it possible to walk with one leg? Is it possible, kids? Think and tell me. Okay? Now, there are two person. One is Shalini and one more is Pawan. Okay? These are the children studying in second standard. The work they do is given in the following pictures. We have to observe them. So, what happens? Whenever they get up, they will brush the teeth. Okay? Then they go to the toilet. After coming out of the toilet, they wash their hands with soap. Then they take bath every day. Wears clean and washed clothes and combs hair. After that, washes hand with soap before and after taking meals. And also they drink clean water and trim nails once in a week. Then washes hands, legs and face as soon as he comes from school and read lessons daily. Sleeps in a well ventilated room without covering the face. So these are the some of the habits of a healthy children. Okay. So you should also practice all these habits. Okay. You may have some of the habits. Yes. So. Try to develop all these good habits like waking up early, brush the teeth, go to toilet, wash your hands and face and keep yourself clean, trim nails once in a week, yes, read lessons daily and sleep well, okay. Now, write your daily habits in the following circle. So, in the morning what you will do, in the afternoon and in the night, you have to write your habits. I have written some of the habits like in the morning we wake up early, brush our teeth, breakfast we are going to do and we are going to go to the school. In the afternoon, we will study in the school and we will have our lunch and we will play safely. And in the night, we come home and we wash our hands, legs and face and we will have our dinner and then we will sleep. Okay. So, we should keep ourselves clean. Because health is wealth. When we keep ourselves clean, we will not get any diseases. Means we will be healthier. Yes or no kids? So, kids always practice and develop good habits. Okay. So, that's all for this lesson. So, this completes the lesson number 8. Organ health. Okay, so in the next video, we will continue with the lesson number 9. Till then, take care kids. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.